Today is August 30th, 2016. Back with the Stacks Trade Trade Recap. Uh, a couple very solid setups today, and then I've also got some announcements and a little bit of news for you. So SPU was the missed trade of the day. Um, I was very busy today. Now I'll go over why I was so busy here in a minute. But, you know, so so what happens in these area, are times when I'm uh, looking to short sell stocks, but I can't be laser focused. What I'm looking for is, is SPU was a huge runner yesterday, huge runner a month ago. I'm willing to get short, but only at my price. Now, ironically, it bit me today, but that happens. Sometimes you miss. So mid or pre-market, I, I saw it kind of banging around the mid tens and I thought, well, odds are it squeezes out through 11 and then fades all day. So I set up a, a order at, you know, a basically probably about, a, I'd call it a one third size order at 11. I really thought that the potential for this thing to rip through 11 was there. It'd go against me a little bit, but then it would fade all day. Unfortunately, you see the high of the day was 1090, so I didn't get filled. Now, the nice thing is, uh, you know, it's, it, I was I was right on the idea. I, I, I had a feeling this was nothing but a squeeze. I knew that anybody that was, you know, hoping, you know, that got short yesterday and was hoping to get saved was getting panicky pre-market, spiky, spiky, spiky pre-market. You know there's going to be some guys with their finger on the trigger if this thing doesn't fade. So I got that nice spike, you know, right out of the gate. I mean, it hit, spiked up to basically above the pre-market highs, but then faded all day. So it happens. You know, what do you do? Wriggle was a great setup today. I, again, was very busy, did not trade this. I mean, this is very similar. Now, the float isn't as low as I like to see recently, but a very similar setup. You get that spike, and then you get a hold, and then a grind up, and then just all day up. You know, a lot of volume today, uh, but, you know, 55 million shares on a stock with, you know, 70 million float. Normally, I prefer to see more of a float rotation. That's probably why I didn't uh, focus on it that much. And, you know, if you're not familiar with float rotation... That's, uh, you know, it's a kind of an advanced term, but that just means the idea that the, the stock is trading more than it's float each day. So a couple solid setups along with Weight Watchers. You know, it's kind of funny to see these stocks. Uh, if you research the news and stocks trade, you'll see that, you know, it spiked because Oprah said her, her, her boyfriend can now carry her to the pool. She's lost enough weight. And so the stock, uh, you know, it, it's kind of pointless, but a little bit amusing. You get this huge rip, um, you know, from... 1060 to uh, you know almost that one dollar rip on the fact that Oprah's boyfriend can carry her to the pool, but that's the beauty of penny stocks. That's why we trade them. So why was I so busy today? We are very very close to rolling out three or more of our, our biggest features and got an upcoming event. So you know what I focused on a lot lot today is the new screener. We have completely redesigned the screener from bottom up. Completely different visual, modular, logic-based uh, setup. I mean, I, I used it all day today. I mean, it's very exciting. A lot of very cool stuff that we're doing with this now that's going to make it so much more powerful, so much more uh, ability to customize and build your own strategy, as well as we've now got the ability to export and share screeners. So the, you know, the community can build up around that. I can share you screens, you can share them with me, but it, the best thing I like about it is the logic based, you know, we've got this, this kind of flow chart model now, and it's, it's really going to help you, I think, ramp up quicker knowledge ways because it's so much more a logical way to think. Um, we've also got made great headway on Oracle, stock prediction algorithm, uh, paper trading and broker integration are very, very close. So all these awesome things are coming. Now keep in mind, once these features hit, we're going to have a price increase. So if you're considering stocks to trade, check it out now. Go to orders.stockstotrade.com. You get the one day dollar trial. But now is a good time to buy if you want to lock in pricing before these features come out. Other thing to keep in mind, I just got told uh, Tim Sykes Conference, traderandinvestorsummit.com. It's traderandinvestorsummit.com. They freed, they, I think they got a bigger room. There's like 20 seats. 
uh, with Stocks to Trade. Our entire team will be doing there. I'll be doing a presentation. We'll have some of the tech guys there. We're going to have some offers there. So if you were kind of on the fence about going to that event and you're interested in Stocks to Trade, um, you know, it's kind of a great way to kind of grab some of those last minute seats. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. I'm sorry I rambled on a little bit too much today, but uh, you know, I hope you can tell how excited I am by you know by all this new stuff. I mean, it's kind of it's pretty easy to get motor mouth when you when you see uh, when when you see what I'm seeing behind the scenes with all the all the features we got coming. So thanks a lot, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, Tim Bone, lead trader with Stocks Trade, back with you. Well, I posted a video yesterday that was uh, about some of the upcoming features and kind of talked a little bit about what I've been working on during the day to get these development features and kind of bug fixes done. And, uh, you know, I think my enthusiasm showed through in the video because I got back last night and then again this morning and my inbox was full with, with messages and DMs asking for more details on these kind of features that I kind of teased. So, uh, you know, I talked about some of the broker integration and new screener and all these other features that we have coming, but didn't offer any details. And, and again, I got a lot of questions about it. So uh, yeah, yeah, I'm very excited about the stuff we have coming very soon. So I'm just going to kind of quickly go through all of those in this video. And then I got kind of an update at the end of it for you. So first one we have that is very, very, very close, and this is what I actually spent a lot of time on yesterday, was the paper trading module. Um, so cool thing is, is now you can actually use Stocks to Trade as a trading simulator. I'm going to mention a little bit about our custom screener, as well as our black box algorithmic uh, tool. So what's really awesome is very, very soon you're going to be able to use us as a trading simulator in paper trade. If you're looking to test strategies, if you're new, if you're looking to get your feet wet without putting money on the line. So it's very exciting. It's very close. Uh, you can see we've got a couple screenshots of it here. And then the great thing is once we have paper trading done very close behind is full broker integration, which I am super excited about because one of the things that slows down my workflow now is I do all of my research, all of my screening, all of my charting, everything in Stocks to Trade, but I got to keep jumping over to a trading platform or some of my brokers are even web-based right now. So I'm going over to these clunky Java websites or I'm launching another trading platform and it just, it just slows me down. It's frustrating. You launch the thing, they want to update. You got all these hassles. So the awesome thing is once paper trading's done, We'll have broker integration soon to follow. So here's just kind of a quick preview. We've got the quick uh, box in the side. Shows all your orders. Uh, you've got an order entry box. You can type tickers, type position sizes. Do it all from there while you've got your total view window running. Um, here is just a quick preview of the account management as well as your portfolio, your trade log, open orders. You know, you can you can cancel orders here. You can see your executions here. You've got a whole screen of all the all the data you need associated with any sort of trading activity. Now, here is my favorite part of uh, of kind of the setup in our desktop we've had now. You've got in your bottom right here, you've got an order tab, which you can just hit quickly. And now you can enter uh, enter positions, close positions, or enter orders, close orders, cancel orders, all direct from your total view screen. So whether you're doing it on the widget side or within your total view, easy accessibility. We've got a lot of cool auto order entries here to make things fast. As well as, you know, you've got all your information, your bid, ask, your position size, everything right there. We anguished a lot over, you know, it's, it's amazing the amount of time we spent just on this trade box to get it exactly the way we want to make it visually pleasing, but as, all, but as well visually effective so that you're not, you know, make, you're not fat fingering orders, you know, you're, you're, not, you're not typing the wrong size, you're not entering the wrong price. You've got all of it in a logical manner. So awesome. Paper trading very, very soon. 
brokerage integration soon to follow. Now, here is one of the greatest things is we've always had a screener, but we've now taken it to the next level. And this is by far the most innovative stock screener I have ever used or seen, okay? I'm not saying I've used everything out there. I've used a lot. But nothing is like this, nothing I've seen before, even in screenshots or anything. What we've done is we've given you the power of a true programming screener where you're, where you're in the code, but we've made it visual and widget-based. Um, I've used plenty of screeners where I've had a 200-page manual flipping through for variables and criteria. And, I mean, you can do what you need to do, but it's painful and it's time-consuming. What we've done is we've created this with all widgets and, you know, all Boolean data to now drag and drop, create that same code type setup, but all visually. And you can notice that we've got color code. Everything is color coded for quick recognition of what you're, what you're doing, especially once you get more advanced. You're going to be able to recognize quickly that what a green border and a purple box means. That means a percentage change based on the last price. So it makes it not only fast and efficient to drag and drop, but also being all widget and color based. So you can get as simple or as complex as you want. You know, add criteria, basically, probably borderline infinite. I'm sure at some point you'd exceed the potential for variables. But basically, you can build any type of algorithmic or, or black box type strategy based on uh, fundamental technical data, standard price data, whether or not there's news, whether or not there's SEC filings, whether or not there's earnings. You can build all that out widget based. And the most exciting thing is we have the ability to then obviously save these screeners, but then export them and we will have a community built around screeners. So the nice thing is I'll be able to upload screeners. You'll be able to upload screeners. You will be able to, you could download one of mine and modify it or use it as it is. I could potentially get one from a user, maybe user to user. Maybe you got a trading buddy. You're both using stocks to trade. You can build these things out together, export, import, put them on the community, and you can then log in right away. You've got already got the pre-built screeners, but now you can get advanced screeners from other traders, myself, and other mentors. So really exciting stuff and, and very, very powerful of what you can do with this. So next thing, speaking of black box, so we have the stock oracle. So what is the stock oracle? This is our black box algorithmic stock prediction module. So what this does, we hired an entire team of developers and quants to build in a strategy that you know, obviously this thing isn't going to just hand you trades, but the beauty of it is every morning, whether it's pre-market or at the open, you can launch the Oracle and you'll be winnowed down to a list of 15 or less potential longs and shorts. You can see I've got a basket of roughly half longs, half shorts. Now, the beauty is now you've got this winnowed down to a potential list based on the black box algorithm. You double click it, you get a total view screen, you can look at the chart, you can look at the news, you can look at the level two, and then make your own decision. But the greatest thing is that it quickly, and we're all about productivity and, and being as versatile and fast and efficient as possible, you can launch this, get a basket of stocks, move on about your day, and make trades based off of what you potentially see in this criteria. And each day, you launch it, you get a list of stocks. Really exciting stuff. I have, I will admit, I am way too dumb to know what's under the hood. I'm sure if I saw it, it'd make my head spin, but I can tell you, I've used it as a beta tester, and it's pretty wild just to see how it works. But here's just a quick shot, screenshot of, of, of what it looks like. More to come. So those are the greatest and biggest advancements we have coming very, very soon, okay? These are the types of things that are making us rapidly becoming the most innovative and, and agile stock trading platform out there. I mean, these are just features coming next month, maybe six weeks, maybe at the most two months from now, and that's just the beginning, okay? These are just the next release. We have a, a, a ticket system of three pages of projects of stuff that we are going to be building in as soon as these are complete. So why is that pertinent? As of right now, our price has been the same. We are, once Oracle 
Uh, broker integration, paper trading, and the new screener are done. And in the general release, we will be issuing a, a, a price increase. So if you're on the fence, if you're looking for an innovative stock platform, now is the time to buy. Because if you sign up now, you lock in the lower rates. And when the features come out, this fall's features, next, uh, you know, next winter's features, next year's features, you lock in the same pricing because you're signing up today. So where do you go to do that? Visit our website, StocksToTrade.com. You can go direct to orders.StocksToTrade.com. And sign up directly there. We've got a $1 seven-day trial. Also, keep in mind, it's kind of short notice. There's only about 10 days, but we will be at the Trader and Investor Summit. Stocks of Trade will be there. We'll be doing a full presentation. We'll have offers. We'll be doing demos. We'll have a lot of awesome stuff. I mean, if you can make it, it is short notice. But not only in addition to all the other great speakers, but we will be there with a whole basket of information for you. So hopefully you guys are excited as I, as I am. I mean, there's a lot of awesome stuff. And again, it's just this release. I can't, I mean, my head spins when I think about six months or a year from now. Um, lastly, follow us on social media. We are Stocks to Trade everywhere, whether that be our webpage, Instagram, Twitter, Stock Twits, uh, YouTube, everywhere. We're Stocks to Trade. Give us a follow on the social networks you use, and we'll see you again. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Tim Sykes, and I teach people to trade stocks. I am a self-made multimillionaire. So this is the ideal trade that I'm going to talk about. I want you guys to understand every single aspect of this trade.